In this video from D4 Therapy, we will learn about premenstrual dysphoric disorder in 5 minutes or less. So let's jump right in. So criteria A for this disorder goes over the duration requirement to give this diagnosis. So five symptoms must be present for a week before the menses starts. The symptom starts improving during the menses and is gone or absent is minimal in the week post menses. So let me repeat it. Five symptoms must be present a week before the onset of period it starts improving during the week of the period and it kind of becomes minimal or absent post menses after the period, right? So there is this kind of three week period that we are looking for the symptoms and that's the duration. And the five symptoms are in criteria B and C. So criteria B is the mood criteria or the feelings criteria where the person feels bad mood like mood swings affective liability that is like just a fancy way of saying mood swings they are irritable they're angry there's depressed mood or feelings of hopelessness there is anxiety tension and feeling on edge so there is one at least one of b now criteria c is more of cognition and behavior right so criteria c at least one of the seven from the c is that the person experiences decrease in interest in activities they have a difficulty concentrating they feel low energy they are either overeating or they crave specific food they either sleep too much or can't sleep at all sense of feeling overwhelmed or out of control and then there are physical symptoms like breast tenderness bloating or weight gain so C is about some behaviors and cognitions, right? So a total of five from B and C have to be present for the three weeks that is in criteria A to provide a diagnosis for premenstrual dysphoric disorder. And then other symptoms are a criteria of intensity that is the D and F go over the intensity. So of course it has to be clinically significant. However, this is the only disorder that actually like requires that we confirm the duration criteria that is criteria A through prospective daily rating, which is just a fancy way of saying that the client kind of like writes down or jots down, take note of when they're experiencing, experiencing symptom and make sure that they do that for the two subsequent menstrual cycle like they're making sure that they are like taking notes like two months before this diagnosis can be given right there's some exclusion criteria like always so it is not an exacerbation of another mental disorder like mdd and it is not because of substance or medication uh, now if you would like to learn how i decide to put my symptoms into these classifications of intensity duration and criteria please check the video that is on my channel and if you found this video to be helpful, consider subscribing and you can leave a comment below of the kind of disorder that you would want me to cover next. Thank you for watching.